everyone welcome to my channel it's probably been a fair chunk of the video by now but i am finally <laughs> gonna introduce the video quickly gonna preface if you hear a knocking sound it's because building is being done downstairs very annoying but we're gonna deal with it for today my name is taylor if you are new here thank you for joining me and it's yeah <laughs> it's been an eventful few days so I thought I'd catch you up on everything as you would have seen in the start of the video I was at Splendor over the weekend um, a festival up in Byron Bay it was so fun but have a google of the news articles that came out about it because it was just a bit of a shit show basically the first day was rained out the rest of it was just super muddy. I got stuck in the mud a few times. You would have seen the video how deep the mud was, like honestly up to like mid calves. I'm so sorry if that sounds so annoying. There's just, I have to film this today. There's no other time for me to film this. Um, and the buses to get home were an absolute nightmare. And then it was just an absolute disaster <laughs> basically, but so fun i had a really good weekend i wanted to tell you quickly about what happened when we were trying to get home to melbourne we had flights to melbourne on the monday so the day after uh splendor and all of my friends flights got cancelled um except for mine and toby's so a few of my friends drove to sydney to get on a flight that day which was just crazy um a few of my friends stayed in byron basically and me and Toby were like, oh, chill. Like our flight's still um, going. It was at 8.45 p.m. So we spent the day at the beach. My housemate and friend who lives up there, Gus, well, he has a house up there and a car up there. He drove us to the airport. And on the way to the airport to get on our flight home, the car broke down. <laughs> and so we were literally like 10 minutes away from the airport. Boarding started in 10 minutes. And we were stranded on the middle of like on the side of the freeway at like 8 p.m. or 8 30 and we had to get to the airport so it was just one of those things we were like what the hell like this is just the worst luck ever we ended up hitchhiking me and toby this absolute angel sent from heaven <laughs> came and picked us up like just pulled over and took us to the airport completely out of his way and we got to the airport on time we made the plane and we made it to melbourne against all odds like seriously <laughs> my friends also made it to melbourne um from sydney so like the ones who'd driven down to sydney so we made it at home but it was just one of those things like we got to melbourne and we were like how did we actually make it here <laughs> like that there was just it was looking so bad all day there was just things happening that we shouldn't have made it to melbourne but we did so that is a little snippet of what our weekend looked like but it was so fun um and i don't know if i'll go again another year um the organized i think it was just a lot of little bad things that happened that made it kind of bit like dodgy like some of it was just not organized the best but all in all a great <laughs> great weekend it was very eventful to say the least um so and we all came out of it alive and safe and healthy and happy so success i think now it is wednesday actually so it's been a couple of days i needed to take yesterday to get my life sorted uni went back on monday so i spent yesterday just organizing <laughs> my life and everything i'm gonna film um that like all the uni stuff in a separate video so I'm gonna finish this vlog off in a little bit and then make a separate video kind of going into my first week of uni so stay tuned for that but today I have just been at work it's now midday and I've got a few hours before I have to go to work again this afternoon um, and I am going to edit my Splendor vlog and this vlog um, because I want to get it out like tomorrow ideally like once I filmed this hopefully I can edit it all today and get it out tomorrow I hope it's good I filmed all of it on my new phone that I got I got an iPhone 13 literally like a few days before we left and I filmed all of it on there the camera is incredible so hopefully you've enjoyed it I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I edit 
my videos um, I get asked this all the time is what software I use and also where I find music I absolutely find that music makes a video and I spend probably a majority of the time choosing the right music because I care so much about the music fitting the vibe and it's really interesting when you're editing a video how two different songs you might put one song in and play the video and listen to it put another song in and it just changes the entire way that a video comes across I don't know if that makes sense to anyone but I put a lot of effort into um, the music part of my videos because yeah it definitely changes how you guys view or um, feel about certain parts of my video. So for example, my Splendor vlog, the kind of music that I want is um, it to be really hype and exciting, but also there's bits of it that I want to be like more chill and um, we, when we go to the beach, like a bit more beachy holiday vibes. Sometimes if I do like a morning routine or like a cleaning, you know, montage or something like that, I want to have chill music. And so instead of like upbeat music. So I am very happy to have partnered with Thematic who I have used for basically the entire time that I've had my channel. It took me a few months to um, find a website and a source of music that I liked but Thematic you will see in all of my videos has been the provider of the music for my channel for a long time. As a YouTube content creator it is really important that you use music that is cleared it needs to otherwise you get copyrighted basically so thematic gives you a whole library full of videos that are cleared to use on youtube for free for people who might not have a youtube channel or might not understand the importance of that if you use a video that um is like off the radio just a random pop song you don't have the rights to use it and then therefore you can't make money from a youtube video um, so all of my videos have thematic songs in it, which means that I can profit off of these videos without being copyrighted for using a song that I don't have the rights to. Thematic has a huge library full of songs and different genres of songs. So a really easy search function. That means that you can go through different genres, different vibes, BPMs, um, energy levels, instrumentals, acoustics, and choose the song that best suits. Uh, your video vibe so that's why I really love thematic because it makes that process for me a lot easier so for example today for this splendor vlog I might go into um, the happy genre or the feel-good genre and have a flick through all the music that will match the vibe of my video you then just download it straight to your computer pop it in your video and you just put the link of the video into your YouTube description so it makes the whole process so easy for you. It makes what could be a very painful part of making a YouTube video not at all painful. It's very, very easy to do. And you're supporting independent artists from around the world. So there is some really good music on there that I I feel like we're so lucky to have access to for free. So you guys can sign up through the link in my description. You can either sign up for a premium membership or they have a free tier, which honestly gives you so much access to so much music. Um, it's definitely worth signing up to at least a free account. Thank you again to Thematic for partnering with me. I was so excited to partner with them because I honestly do love thematic so much it is such a lifesaver for me and my editing process it saves me so many hours doing my music choosing so yeah i need to edit this video what am i do doing today i have so much to do and i think because i missed that first day of uni on monday because i was <laughs> literally at the beach i feel like a whole day behind and i just need to sort everything out um but i I'm going to show you in my next video all of the stuff that I've done to organize myself for uni this semester. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to do um, my editing for my uh, Splendor vlog. And I actually might, which you guys would have seen a little bit of because I'm going to insert the footage over me talking. Um, so I might end the vlog here and I hope that this was, was probably nice and short and sweet, but I hope that you enjoyed it, had a little insight into my weekend at Splendor and I will see you next week or actually I have no idea when the next video is going out and make sure you subscribe for my next video the first week at uni vlog and I will see you then, bye!